Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from Jimji Studio. Today we will continue with our OKR tracking app for Android and we will build a foundation for the strings. We will add string resources and we will also add translations. We will add the English translation, obviously, and the German one. And if you want to see more Android tutorials of Jetpack Compose and Kotlin and to see our OKR app finish, release it in the store and also monetize it, or want to see Unity tutorials and learn how to build mobile games for Android and iOS, subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free guys. But now, let's start with the video. Now, let's fix this. We write text and the text is equal to string resource and then we have to pass an ID. The ID is R and we have to take the R with com.gmgstudio.okr tracking and this is in your app different, it's your app name. R.string and then we write OKR underscore title underscore placeholder. And as you can see, it's red. If we now press Alt and Enter, well, it's not working. But now we can press Create String Value Resource. And then we can add a resource value and we will write OKR title. And then we press OK. And then the file was created. Now we can remove the first text. Now let's do the same thing here. We write text and the text is equal to string resource. And the ID is R and choose the right R dot string. Well, I don't like the name we choose before. Let's refactor this later. We write okr underscore created underscore key results because we have a key results. And as you see, it's red again. Now let's press Alt and Enter. If it's not working, I just press Enter randomly and now it should work. Now if I press Alt and Enter, it creates string resource and the resource value is zero key results. We will fix this later so we can add a number. And we will move the text on top. And now we will factor this. I don't like the name. We will choose the screen name, so at OKR screen underscore title underscore placeholder. I think the name is good. And we will do the same thing below. We press refactor. If I find it, we will rename it. And we will name it to add OKR screen underscore created key results title because it's the title. Now this looks fine. Now let's run it and see if everything works fine. Okay, I just speeded it up. And if we press to add, OK, add OKR, we can see OKR title and zero key results. And now we want to fix the hardcoded zero. We don't want always to show zero key results. If we have two, we want to show two. Now we will go to rest border value strings.xml. And as you can see, the zero was hardcoded. And if we write present one dollar D, this means we can pass values. And the first value we pass is an integer. And now let's test what happens. Here in our string, the string resource, we we'll write comma and then we can pass the number. And let's try it with three. And we can remove the to do comments because we already fixed it. Now let's run it. And if we go to the screen, we can see that it says three key results. And now let's change the three, let's say to a one, and it changed to one. I don't know if you knew it already, the emulator updates automatically. I didn't know it, so I was pretty surprised. And although my English is not perfect, I know that one key result is wrong and it should be one key result. Then we go to the values folder, new value resource file, and the file name should be plurals. And we will fix it. Now if we press OK, we don't need any available qualifiers, we just want to make plurals.xml and now let's add the key result 
First of all, we can remove it from the strings because we don't need it anymore. First of all, we will need the name. This is how we can access the plurals with like the ID. Then we can add the items. And if the item is one, so if the quantity is one, we will show key result without an S. And then we can add, if the quantity is other than one, we can show key results with an S. And now let's try it. As you can see, it's red and it doesn't work anymore. And we can't access it with the strings. If you write R dot blue words dot add or key R screen, it's still red and we can't compile it. So or we can compile it, but the app crashes because it's the wrong resource. Now let's fix this. Jetpack Compose has also one plural resource, but I can't use it because I have an old Jetpack Compose version. So now let's update this version. We will go to build.gradle, not the app thing, like the whole project, and the Compose version, the current one is 1.2.1, .1. no better thing. And the Compose compiler, we need two versions, is 1.3.0. And now we will go to the build.gradle file from our app. And under Compose options, you see the compiler extension version and where we want to use our Compose compiler value. Now let's go back again to the other build.gradle file and we will also update the Kotlin version. The current Kotlin version is 1.7.10 and this is it. Now we will hit the elephant so the Gradle file can sync. And everything worked fine. Now we go back to add OKR screen and we will fix the build issue. As you can see, it's still red because we are using the string resource and we don't want to use a string resource anymore, but a plural resource. So we write plural string resource Actually, first of all, we will delete the count. The ID is equal to r.plurals.add or key r screen when you will press comma, one, comma, one. Don't press enter. So if it shows count is equal, don't use that. Press comma so you don't have any compiler issues. As you can see, the plural string resource still don't compile. And if we hover over it, we can see that this is an experimental RP and it's likely to change and we can opt in for it. If you scroll on top, you can see the opt-in experimental compose your IRP for the class. Now, if we compile it and run it, you can see it's back. Now, and it says one key result. And if we change the count from one to two and the argument to two, you can see it says two key results. This is really cool, I like it. And now let's support multiple languages. If we go to strings.xml, we want to translate OKR title, then press on the values folder, new values resource file, and we will name it strings as well. It's important that you name it the same as the other strings file. Then we go to local and we want to support German. And where is it? Well, oh, I found it, where it is. We can also specify regions because maybe the German in Austria is different than in Germany but we want to support any region because we don't care about it. As you can see, there's a strings folder with a strings XML DE. And now we want to translate all key articles so we can copy it from the normal strings.xml file and paste it in the strings XML with the DE. Now in Germany, it's not title, it's all key title. Now let's also add Deutsch so we can see it more easily. Let's test it. As you can see, I changed the language to German. And if you run it again, you can see OKR title Deutsch. Now let's remove the Deutsch because we don't need it anymore. And now if we change the language from German to English again and go to our app, you can see it says OKR title. Guys, this is it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We will try to help you. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating, stop consuming.